Welcome to Classic Klondike Solitaire. Today we're walking through a full game with analysis on the left side of the screen. And uh, this one was very, very difficult to solve, which is kind of good because it means I had to use almost every trick I had to solve it, uh, which makes it a good uh, candidate uh, for tips and everything. Uh, just to go through the basics here, this right here is referred to as a draw pile. There are 24 cards in there, or eight uh, stacks of three, as you will see going forward. These right here uh, start with aces. They're referred to as foundation piles. There are four of those. And uh, these things right here are going to be referred to as columns. First things first, there is a draw pile right here. There are 24 cards in the total, or eight sets of three. One of the key things to get in a high rate of uh, solving this is to manipulate this properly and look for ways where you can take advantage and make more than one move. As you can see, there's a number of different cards. We're just going to cycle through it once before we play, and then uh, we'll make the moves accordingly. Now, one of the things I would like to point out, and we're going to go back here on this one, and that is basically this. If you see a jack, or it's two of the same card, I typically like to play the first of the two cards, unless you see a better move. It's just my experience has been that's, that's how it plays out. So, okay, we looked at this. Now, one of the first things I like to do when I go start out is to try to solve move these cards around and as you can see there's no way to move the cards around so we're going to go to our next option and that's uh play these cards down here here's this is a good card we'd like to be able to, to get here in uh, one of these open columns sometime but we have to open up a column first so we're going to see what we can do uh, this is the first card we can play I like to save it as insurance, although we're kind of far back. There might not be an insurance option here. So let's play this and then see how this goes out. Now, because we played this, what that's going to do is that's going to open up the 10, which we cannot play. Uh, we would like to open the 3, because that can allow us to move one of these two deuces. And we will get to the 3 next, because we're going to do that uh, 6 of hearts over here uh, later, as you'll see. I do. Oh, actually, we can get to the three right now. So we got the jack. We're going to play that. And then we'll get to the ace in the next turn. The good news is because we can get to the ace in the next turn, that means we can play the three and play this two over here. <coughs> Excuse me. So what we're going to, going to do is hit undo and then go back to this three right here. And then we're going to play this two. Now, normally we'd have a choice between this two and this two, but like I said earlier, there's an ace, and that's going to allow us to play both ways. And maybe if we can get the three of diamonds somewhere, we can open up one of these columns for that king we've seen. And that would uh, greatly improve our chances of getting this going here. So going through again. And uh, this is going to be our insurance card, uh, which is allows us to uh, manipulate the back of the pile. We'll see how this goes here. There's a king. And the six of diamonds is the card we were going to, going to play. So we're going to play that. And then again, we'll play this right here. I can't remember if there's a red jack. I'm going to, oh, let's see what's there. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that sequence right there. Red 10, I believe. Oh, it's a king. Okay, we can move this here. And this is really good because this opens up this column right here. Only going to play this card over to here if we can move the card underneath it. So we're going to see how that plays out here. And we can, so that's very good. If we could not... Let's go back here. If we could not play the card underneath it, I might hold off just because there's a king or two in this uh, draw pile right here. So we're going to play it right there. And then we can put the ace up top and the deuce as well. 
And then we can open up this deuce. The deuce will go up top anyway. This is a really good card for us because it allows us to move over to here and allows us to move this nine more importantly, which opens up the column. And we get really, really lucky here. Uh, there's a couple aces. So we're going to move those here. And then the same rule applies uh, with this. I'd like to keep a column open for a king from here if possible. But uh, this is kind of a tricky one. So we're going to look at uh, two different variations here. There's variation one and variation two. Variation one we're going to play first right here. And that plays out that way. And because that variation works very well, we can play variation two as well. If that had not worked, we would look at this move uh, right here first, moving this king down below, and then see how that plays out. You want to try to look for the best option of the two. So that's good. The seven is good. Uh, we're in real good shape here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six cards in the column that we haven't uncovered yet. And we also know that there's an ace here that we're going to play which will allow us to move the deuce of diamonds uh, and potentially if we find a three of diamonds. Uh, we're in good shape. So let's go ahead and uh, hit the next. There's the three of diamonds right there. So we're, we're in really good shape. So this goes right here. This 10 is going to go right here. And then, of course, uh, the ace of diamonds will get played because this blackjack will be played now. And then there's the ace of diamonds. And then the two of diamonds. And one of the reasons we saved uh, some of the early moves on this draw pile is so we can get to manipulate cards in the back if we have to. We may have an opportunity. This is a 10 that we had tried to save, I believe. Or no. Here's the king is being saved here. Wanted, okay, three of diamonds is the card we want to go first. And we're going to move that out of the way. Uh, five of diamonds would be the next card. Ideally, if there's a black 9 here or a red 9, that would be very helpful. There is the black 9, then we can move that. So that's good. And we're also saving saving moves so we do not get bottlenecked. Uh, it doesn't always help, but a lot of the times i found it helps to save, save moves in that draw pile so you don't have a bottleneck. Because every time you go through it or pull a card out, it resets uh, the card's on the top end of the draw pile and that can make things interesting that is very good and of course this nine of spades is very good and you can see there's eight here which will allow us to move the seven once we get to that eight of diamonds and that should help us uh, get through and solve this so the, the ten was our going to be our insurance card we're going to wait on that uh, we can however play this king and play the other cards underneath that now that allows us to play the queen, and more importantly, that's going to allow us to move this uh, red jack and empty out this column. Okay, nothing extraordinary there. And uh, this is really good. Now we've got the eight of diamonds, and uh, we can move the seven. Now the question is, what is under here? Ooh, that's interesting. We can move the four. That's good. We cannot move the six, but... We can uh, manipulate here. So we're going to play this. Five of diamonds right here. And this is going to be a little bit of a problem. I'm going to see if we can work our way out of here. There is a uh, five of clubs and a nine of clubs underneath. The five of clubs we can't really play unless we move the five of spades. So we're going to see how this plays out here. And then the same thing with a six. So let's see how this goes. So at this stage, it becomes clear to me, it may or may not become clear to you, that uh, we have a problem. And if you see in the left side of the screen, the three of clubs is basically blocking moves we can make with the hearts and uh, bottlenecking how we can manipulate the cards. The real question uh, you have to ask when you get to this stage in a game and you have a card such as the three of clubs that blocks your moves. That question is, did the three of clubs come from 
one of the columns or did it come from the draw pile? Because if it came from the draw pile, we can possibly fix it and look for another way of solving it. If it came from one of the columns, then uh, it's pretty much game over at this point and there's no way of solving it. Now, most of the time when we're this deep into a game or at this stage of a game, odds are we're not going to recall what our original draw pile was. So in, in that case, uh, what we like to do a lot of the time is basically just use the undo button uh, to go back and figure out uh, what, what exactly uh, transpired. Uh, but fortunately for us, uh, what I did is I, t I took a picture of the draw pile, the original draw pile. It starts right here and then works its way up. And uh, what we're looking specifically for is that bottleneck card, and we're looking for the three of clubs. And if you'll notice right here, there is a three of clubs, which is good for us because that means it's in the draw pile. And because it's in the draw pile, that also means that we have another way of trying to solve this. Now, unfortunately, uh, what we have to end up doing is using this undo button all the way until we get to the very beginning and looking for another approach. But as far as tactics and stuff, we're going to be using the same, same tactics and techniques to solve this. The main, the main issue here was, and this is an issue that doesn't come up a ton, but it's something to pay attention for. You have all these uh, foundation piles uh, that we talked about earlier uh, with the aces and stuff like that. I'm going to uh, shrink this down here. But uh, the, the point is basically, you know, okay, so here's, you know, our foundation piles right in here, right? With the aces. If you have the low, the low cards and stuff, you don't necessarily want to move those out of the draw pile right away unless you can actually move them up into the ace or have a way of moving up into the ace pile because uh, what it can do is it can actually uh, block other moves you may be able to make later. Uh, let's go back to this pile here. If you'll notice, like, there's a three of hearts and stuff. Well, now, I'm just going to put that right there. Now we cannot uh, move, as I've shown earlier, we cannot move this four of hearts. Uh, right here, oops, let me get that there. We can't move the four of hearts. We can't move, you know, the five of hearts. We can't move other cards up, so that that takes away moves that we would have had uh, because of that uh, three of uh, heart or three of clubs that we actually put in. So yeah, that's something that doesn't come up a ton, but if you get to the end of the game and you have no moves left, it's something you might want to look at. Because there is another angle or another way or two of doing that. Because there's so many variations uh, when you're playing this game and trying to solve uh, for complicated puzzles. We're basically starting from scratch again. Not going to play the four hearts and we're going to see if we can find an angle. Uh, may not work though. Because I think the four hearts was critical in moving all these deuces. So we'll see. Going back again. We've got the ten now. We can. We're gonna hold off on that. Can't move the four hearts. Can't move the six of spades. Uh, this will be interesting to see if we can't uh, solve it here. All right, gonna play through here fast. We can move this up. That goes up. And then of course there was an ace in the back. I remember. So that should play fairly fast. Can't move the four hearts or the six of spades. So let's see, seven, ten. Can move the king. Gonna play this king and see how this plays out. All right. Three of diamonds. No, no. There's that move. All right, there was an ace of spades there and the king, which is good because we can move this here. Seven of hearts. We're going to hold off 
<coughs> and moving the seven of spades, so second. This four diamonds can go right here, believe. Yeah, yeah, the four diamonds will be fine because we'll move out the diamond pile later. Six of spades we're holding, and I think there's another card. So this goes right here. This is good. We've got that up top. Okay, now the fun begins. Five of hearts go up top. Uh, the three of clubs, I believe, was going to hold us up. Yeah, clubs. We need clubs was holding us up. It's going to go through again. Okay, there. Now going back. Oh, but okay, black seven. Let's see. Nope. Nope. Oh, the three of diamonds was the one we wanted to get. Okay, that's good. That's good. This is the three of diamonds is going to go up here. Four of diamonds goes up here. Now, remember, we're not going to play this one. We're playing the other seven. And we're going to see if we can't uh, work this out on this angle right here. That's very good because we can move these cards up. Uh, the Ten of Diamonds can go down. Five of Clubs. I think I'm just going to leave it there and see how this, if we can clear out this column right here with a seven. And again, we're not, we're going to wait till we move the next eight underneath just because of how it's set up there. Same thing with the Three of Clubs. All right. Uh, let's see that card there. This card will go here. And, uh, oh, no, we have to because we have to move this nine. Yeah, so we're going to move this six of diamonds down here. And we're going to move the five and then the nine. And keep our fingers crossed. If seven goes there. Eight of, sp eight of hearts goes right there. It allows us to open this up. And uh, let's see. Has to be a red five underneath. Okay. We need a red five underneath here from here to move this four. So let's backtrack here. It's getting a little complicated. Uh, let's see what we can do. So we need a red five. Black six goes down here, and there's no way, let's see, there's a way to get a red five. We would need to move a black six to get a red five, which may invalidate our whole process here. Let's see this. Nine, eight, seven. So we would have to play the red six, and we wouldn't be moving this. Oh, boy. Because there's the other... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's run this back again. Okay. We are going to move... Let's see, go back. Just going to go back to this draw pile and move one of these cards out. Don't want to move the black six. I think that's going to be the option, though. So we're going to move the red nine, and then we're going to come back again, and the black six should be open. Black six is going up top. So, yes, we're good. And that also means that this black seven can go up top. Um, no, let's undo. No, it can't do it that way. I'm going to take this from a different angle here. And what we're going to do is, let's see here. So black six is going here because that's going to allow us to move a red five underneath and then move this four. So, okay. Uh, we could, I'm just going to get this red five out of there. I may have to undo it. So this goes here, this goes here, this goes here. 
Now we're going to move this here. And the four of clubs was our bottleneck card. So we're going to move this red five down here. We're going to play the four of clubs. Six of clubs was the challenge here. And the good news is now we can open this up. I'm going to show a little trick here. Since we have two black sixes, we can move this five right here. Move the six up top and then move the six below just like that. Two of clubs goes over there. Eight of clubs. Uh, spades goes right there and then we can move the seven of diamonds and of course we have solved the puzzle this one was uh, actually very tricky it took a lot of variations but if you were uh, fortunate enough to stick around and look at all the different angles we took uh, hopefully you were able to learn a thing or two again i will be editing this and have the tips on the, the left to make it to uh, more watchable thank you for watching uh that's going to wrap this up good luck